everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's me, and So, for today's video, ang isi-share ko naman po sa inyo is kung paano mag-register online ng inyong SSS online account. So, just a quick background, guys. I just recently registered my SSS online account dahil gusto kong ma-monitor yung contribution ko at bala ko din mag-change ng civil status from single to married. Kaya, naisipan kong mag-register online. And it's more convenient kasi di ko na kailangan pumunta sa any SSS branch. So, pwede ko na siya gawin online. So guys, kung member na kayo ng SSS at hindi pa kayo nakapag-register ng SSS online account, so perfect sa inyo ang video na ito dahil itituro ko sa inyo ang mga steps para makapag-register online. In that way, ma-monitor nyo na po online kung naguhulog pa talaga yung ating mga um, employer sa mga SSS natin or kung isa kang voluntary or self-employed at gusto mong ma-check yung SSS update, pwede po tayong mag-register online. Alright, so questions. Sino-sino po ba yung qualified na mag-register ng SSS online account? Okay, so qualified ka po mag-register ng online account ng SSS kung ikaw ay, of course, uh, first, SSS member. So, dapat isa ka na pong member ng SSS, employed, self-employed, voluntary, OFW, at non-working spouse member. Second qualification, uh, valid date of coverage. So, dapat meron ka ng one month posted contribution and valid SS number. So, sa mga hindi nakakaalam kung saan makikita yung SS number, hanapin nyo po yung E1 form nung nag-register po kayo. Or makikita din po yan sa SSID kung meron kayong ID ng SSS. Or baka nakalagay din sa likod ng inyong company ID. If ever di nyo mahanap dun sa mga nabanggit ko, pwede kayong magtanong sa inyong employer or you can ask directly sa any SSS branch. So guys, i-ready nyo na po yung mga information na babanggitin ko na kakailanganin natin para makapag-register online. So first, kailangan natin ng SS number or CRN. Yung CRN, makikita po yan sa ating UMED ID. Second, kailangan natin ng valid email address. Make sure na may access po kayo sa email address na ilalagay nyo since doon po mag email si SSS sa inyo ng information kung paano mag-create ng password once na successful po yung ating online registration. Third, kailangan nating pumili ng isa sa mga information na babanggitin ko and make sure yung gagamitin nyo pong information is na nakalagay po ito doon sa information nung nag-register po kayo ng inyong um, SS number. Alright, so first, pwede kayong gumamit ng savings account number, Citibank Cash Card, UP, UBP Quick Card, UMED ATM Saving Account Number, registered in SSS. Second, pwede kayo gumamit ng mobile number. Third, UMID card or UMID PIN code or mother's maiden name. Pwede din gumamit ng employer ID number or paid payment reference number, SBR number, payment receipt transaction number. Or pwede din yung date of last loan. Okay guys, so let's head over to our Google browser. Pwede kayo gumamit ng laptop, PC, or phone browser. Then type nyo lang po dito yung kanila um, SSS website, which is sss.gov.ph. Enter nyo lang po. Natin. 
So, once ma-open na po itong, um, nandito na po tayo sa kanilang web page, may lalabas na ganitong box. So, click nyo lang po itong I'm not a robot. Wait lang natin. And then, mag-captcha tayo. Just walk. Ayan. Pag wala na, pwede na click yung verify. And then, click submit. So, dito sa portals, click lang po natin itong member. So, ayan guys. So, since mag-re-register mag pa lang po tayo, so wala pa po tayong user ID and password. So, ito po. Punta tayo dito sa not yet registered in my.sss. So, click lang po yan. Okay. So, dito guys, makikita natin itong um, reminders. Please be ready with your chosen information, which will be required in your web registration. Your chosen information for web registration should have been duly reported to SSS to ensure successful registration. So, ito yung binanggit ko kanina na kailangan natin. So, pumili lang po kayo ng isa dyan. So, hindi ko na siya babasahin lahat kasi as I have said earlier, binanggit ko na siya kanina. So, dito, basahin nyo lang po yan. And then, after that, once tapos na po kayo magbasa, click nyo lang po itong box, I certify that I have read and understood the foregoing uh, reminders on SSS web registration. And then, click proceed. So guys, nandito na tayo sa online member user ID registration. So ito yung form na kailangan nating i-fill out para makapag-register. So first, kailangan natin ng CRN or SS number. So ilagay niyo lang po sa box, then email address, make sure yung email address is may access kayo. Then preferred user ID, it consists 8 to 20 characters. First character must be alphabetic, no special characters except underscore. So, my example po dito. So, it's a combination of letters and numbers. So, kaya na pong bahala mag-create. So, dito, surname or last name. Fill up nyo lang. Last name, given name, middle name. So guys, as you can see, nagpa-pop up na siya directly yung information kasi tapos na ako makapag-register. So, ginawa ko lang po ito siya ulit as a demo. So, yan pag may suffix kayo, lagay nyo lang. Pag wala naman, um, just leave it long. Date of birth, month, date, year. Ayan. Alright, so dito guys, mailing address. Make sure na yung address na ilalagay nyo. The same doon sa address na uh, nilagay nyo nung kumuha kayo ng SS number. Alright, and dito, uh, pili lang kayo either Metro Manila or province. Kayo na bilong. Sa akin sa province, ayan, select province. Select cities. Barangay. Postal code. So, dito, uh, di nyo na need to fill out tan yan. Okay, wala naman kayong foreign mailing address. So, punta tayo dito guys, registration preference. So, select one. So, dito nyo pipiliin yung um, information na ilalagay nyo. 
Sa akin, mas convenient yung unit card. So, yan. So, pag meron kayong pin code, guys, ng unit card, dito yung siya ilalagay. And then, pag wala naman, meron namang ibang choice, which is mother's maiden name. Reported in the E6 unit card uh, application form. So, yan. Fill out nyo lang. Right, and make sure to review all the information para maging successful yung ating registration. So, after nyo nang ma-double check lahat, click nyo na po tong, I'm not a robot. Wait lang po natin. Ayan, so, check din po itong box. I accept the terms of service. Then, after nyan, click nyo na po itong submit. So, guys, right after maklik nyo yung submit, may notification na lalabas dyan. You have successfully submitted your SSS web account registration application. So, kindly check your email for the system notification. So, yung email na ma-receive natin, Diyan po natin makukuha yung link sa pagkakreate ng ating password. And then, ikiklik lang po natin itong by clicking here. So guys, mapupunta tayo dun sa part na to create your preferred password, please provide the last 6 digits of your CRN or SS number. And then, click submit. So, sa pagka-create po ng password, dapat 8 to 20 characters lang. Then, first letter must be alphabetic and no special character and must be different from your user ID. So, yung password po natin is a combination of letters and numbers. And then, click submit. After po ma-create yung password, magla-logout po tayo before closing your browser for your protection. And then, magla-login po tayo ulit using our user ID and password. So, guys, same process. Open a browser, then type in SSS website. And then, log in using your user ID and password. Click I'm not a robot. Then, antayin lang natin siya. Bago natin i-click yung submit. So, after po natin mabuksan yung ating SSS online account, Yan po yung unang lalabas. Kindly update your information. Please click here. So, ayan guys. Makikita nyo yung member basic information dyan. So, yung mga boxes na maliliit. So, ikiklik nyo po yung box kung alin yung information na gusto nyo i-update. And then, may lalabas dyan sa ipaba na save. And once you already save it, May lalabas na notification, you have successfully updated your information. And then, sa inquiry naman, ito yung mga makikita natin. And then, dito sa e-services. So, sa member and phone naman, guys. Ayan yung makikita natin. Member details, update contact info, change password, update security question, employment history, appointment system, UMED or SS ID details. So, yan yung kagandahan guys kung meron tayong SSS online account. Kasi pwede natin siyang ma-monitor or ma-update anytime kahit nasa bahay lang tayo. So, hindi na natin kailangan pang pumunta sa any SSS branch. So, that's it guys for today's video. I hope may natutunan kayo sa mga itinuro kong steps on how to register online ng SSS online account. So, please hit like this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And click the notification bell para ma-notify kayo for my next video. Goodbye! Thank you.